sits upon his throne. He sits in a holy place. Oh, I love you. 
show that's playing for you. We are in one of four. Oh, we'll always show you what to do. Rejoice. Oh, rejoice. Rejoice in his passion.
This city is getting blessed. And it doesn't even know it. Did you know that? There's a river that's gone out of this place today. And it's blessing this city. Come on. God doesn't keep it in one place when you open up to it. I saw it. I saw it really Baby. 
So they wanted to know why she was with me. They kind of separated us there. And I said, oh, she's helping me. And I said, oops, I'm not supposed to talk. And, and they started laughing. But why are you coming to Jerusalem? I said, well, anybody with any love needs to come to Jerusalem. Well, listen, they get lost in your words and your yeah. thoughts. Uh, yeah. I'll give you a testimony. Because many are going to look in that direction for answers in the days to come. Now, I release you in the name of Jesus. Listen, his, let his name become your revival. There's revival in his name. Learn to say it with such love and such certainty. Just say his name with passion. Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Jesus, I love you so much. Teach me to love you more, Lord. Show me how to open my heart more to you. Lord, show us how to feel what your Father felt for you. You said, your only Son, God, in whom you were well pleased. And Lord, we're the sons and daughters of your son. Let's sing our Father and then we can go. Lord in heaven. Our Father.
I, I know God's raising you in the rank, Ramona. Sharon, you're going to have such lofty visions. It's going to swing people into the throne room. Some of you are going to have a rain dance. You have it, brother, in the back row. You. There's a rhythm in your dance. You release the clouds of glory. I saw it while ago while you were dancing. Everybody in this room, God has given you something special for the time and your calling. Go after it. I'm having God to tell me things late in life that I just weep. Now, why did I think of these things when I was young? Because I'm able to handle it now. He wants to show you the revelation of why you were created. And the purpose and the power and the glory. When I was a young girl, I used to think there's no hope for me. I can't, I just have a hard time learning. I'd read and read and read, and I'd always start in the back of the book instead of the front. And I found out later why. But then when I had a few dreams, I see preparing your feet right now. I'm seeing all these feet, your horses, and he's got every one of them, he's got a hoop. One of your feet is like a hoop, and he's got it in the hand, he's putting a new shoe on it for the race, for the run. He's preparing. He said, how beautiful are the feet of those that bring good news. He said, how beautiful. I saw the Lord's feet when he walked through the valley of decision for me one day. And his feet looked like two pearls. I wanted to touch them. They actually looked like pearl. Where he had walked through the fires for me. And the lonesome times of my life. And the difficult times he, he went ahead of me that I was able to make it. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the honor of the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. The Valentine's Day is coming up. I just saw this great big Valentine. Lord, make it extra sweet. Make it special. Special. I want to say this, please, in closing. Talk to God about things that, that only, listen, that only a little baby, a little, a little child, you know how they ask for things, Mommy, please, can we do this? You know, how, do you remember your children doing that? Can I have this now? Talk to him. He said, unless you come like a little child. Come to him with things that are so precious. When I said to to him that I miss my sister. She'd been dead eight years. And I said this, Lord, I really miss her so much. And I know there's nothing you can do about it. She's dead. But I just wanted you to know. And I heard him say, I heard him say, oh, you think so? <laughs> and the next morning, he brought her to see me. With red hair. Because I had asked him, why didn't my mother call her Ruby? And because she had white hair all of her life. But when I saw her in the spirit, she had flaming red hair. And God was saying, she's my Ruby. Come on. Ask him some questions and he'll give you knowledge. And understanding of the kingdom of God. And why some things are like they are. He wants to reveal to you what the living creatures were showing in the book of Isaiah. I saw the Lord high <coughs> and lifted up, and his train filled your temple. And he said he saw the rainbow, the promises, yea and amen, above his head, and the wisdom. And even the angels, you know they're called holy? The Bible says they hid themselves with their wings because the Lord was so holy. They hid themselves in their wings. It said with twain they covered their faces, their hands. 
their feet. They had feet and hands because he was so holy. Now listen, we don't recognize that yet or we'd be different people. I'm saying this kindly. But when you learn of the holiness of God, You don't even feel worthy. I'm serious. When you come into the holiness of God and you see how holy he is and what a great price he's paid for your salvation, you suddenly realize the greatness of the suffering of God. The price he paid. I saw his body. I could see through it. it they had beaten so much flesh off of him. I could see light through his body. I asked him if he'd let me see it. And I saw, and it looked like our garden that had been plowed, and I found a scripture on it. To ask him some things. Talk to him and say, Lord, would you? Am I, is it possible I can know this now? Can I see this now? Let him take your breath away from you. Come on. He wants to do it. He wants to bring you so close that nothing outside of God is important. Come on, he'll, he'll make it important for your children. He'll give them all those things that they want. Don't get me wrong. My granddaughter had cancer, and she wanted to go to the, what do you call it, the Olympics. And do you know what the Lord did? I can't believe this. She's going to South America, and they changed her ticket to go through Japan to see the Olympics. God gave her four days there. Can you believe that? She would, because she had cancer and she went on a mission trip and we didn't think she was well enough to go, but she went anyway and God healed her. And she wanted to go to the Olympics. I said, honey, they don't go that way. And her ticket was changed to go to Japan to go to South America. God knows the way. He said, I am the way. Come on. I mean, I know I'm keeping you, but listen, there's a place he wants to bring you. He said, beside me, there's a place beside me called there, and I want to bring you here, and I want to show you some things that will take your breath away from you. Come on, and all you'll do is weep all over him. I felt it today. I, I thought, oh, God, what price glory. I'm seeing it now. I can see all these colors and these different shades. Come on, it looks like it looks like peppermint and chocolate and <laughs> come on and spavoni ice cream. You know what that is? That's Italian ice cream. I asked him what my mansion looked like once and it looked like an Italian villa. Come on. You can't even rent one of them. You're dismissed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of all names. I'm seeing the Bible right now. It's etched in gold. It's etched. It's like it's on fire. It's lit up with fire all around it. The pages. Only God can draw a picture like that. Come on. The artist hasn't found the right color yet. But he's the rainbow of your life. Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Awaken our hearts, Lord, to love you. Awaken our hearts to love you. To adore you, Lord. I hear these people on television selling their garments and their jewelry. And you know what they say? Oh, I just am in love with that. I thought, honey, you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> they say, oh, I just adore this. You adore jewelry? Come on, let me give you someone to adore. And they, they say that. I want to call them up and say, stop using those frameworks for jewelry and clothes. And let's talk about what's eternal. 
Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ, your Christ, the Lord. Shut up in my bones. You can go home. 